Hey, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give out praises on the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kudash. Call Allah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kudash. Which means give out praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Thaum Ashina Kabbalah has claimed Shai Ash Allah, which means give up honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great minister who teach and who will, and shalom wa ahal b'chayyah shayyah Allah, which means peace and love to the leg of Israel. Come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh Shemashah with another lesson on the board of Ana, from the J.M.S. Memphis count. Basically, this lesson is again to that the Lord is the creator of our spirits. He, he is the creator of all things. So I'm just going to get into it, let the scriptures do the talking, and Lord willing, you be edified. I'm going to start with Kyle License. 1 and 15, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature, and that's our Lord and Savior, Yahweh our big brother. Like I say in the NLT, Hamashiach is the visible image of the invisible power. He existed before anything was created and is and is supreme over all creation. You see? 16 in the KJV. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or the means of principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And that's plain and simple. Yeah, I was shy. He the creator of all things, of all creations. You see, the Lord created you. He, you know, he, like I say, Lord, I'm going to get into it. The Father of Spirits. Everything that you see in the earth, the Lord created it. Things in heaven as well, you know? Read this again. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Let's get jump to Hebrews real quick. The first chapter. Hebrews one and one. The most high who is sons of times and device diverse minors spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, and by whom also he made the worlds, man. You know? The different empires, you know, the ages. He created all things, man. He the creator of all things, the creator of our spirits. Most importantly, man, I get on uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 18-4. It said, Behold, all souls are mine. It's the soul of the Father. So also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sent it, it should die. You see? All souls are his. He created it, you know? Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man? And that's plain and simple. The soul that's sinning, it, it should die, man. What, what is sin? Transgressor of, of, of the law. The wages of sin is death. You see? That's why Hebrews 12 and 9. It said, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Should we not much Rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live. And that's plain and simple. Yeah, we have our parents, you know, our Father is to say, yeah, you know, that, you know, discipline us with the rod, you know, whoop us with the belt, however it may be. If we gave them reference, you know, laid on the life, you know, commanding them, you know, giving them thanks, how much more the Lord, how much more the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son correcting us. You see? How much more of that? The Father of Spirits and live, being subjection, being obedience to the Heavenly Father who created you and your Father and your parents. How much more of that, man? He the Father of Spirits, man. You see? It said, For they verily, verily for a few days chastening us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we may be partakers of his holy, holiness, which is going to something else. But that's the point. He is the Father of Spirits, man. All souls are his. You can't get around it, man. You know? Look at that count. Numbers, the 16th chapter. 
But I get straight to the point. You start, you can start at one, you know. You can start at one. I don't want to make the lesson too long, you know. But let's get straight to the point. Numbers, the 16. You know, when they uh, came up against Moses, you know, you know, uh, what was his name? Let me see. Uh, Kawhi, the Don. You know, basically when the Lord opened up the earth, you know, and they, uh, and they died, you know. But let's get number 16. Let's start at 20. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. The Lord about to kill, as you say, instantly, instantly destroy them, you know. And and they fell upon their faces, and they fell upon their faces and said, O power, the power of the spirits of all flesh. You see? And the NLT said, All creatures. Of all flesh, and that's inclu including the heathens, man. Everybody in the earth, you know, he is created of all flesh, of all spirits, man. That's Yahweh Bashim Rasha, the true power, not these idols, not Sejue, not Allah, not Buddha. This is Yahweh Bashim Rasha, the God of Israel, man. 22, number, number 16, 22. And they fell upon their faces and said, O power, the power of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and would that be waft with the with all the congregation? And that's the point, man, of all flesh, man, the spirit of all flesh. All souls are his. He is the, he is the creator of all things, the creator of all spirits, man. That in heaven and the earth, man. You know, back in correlations. The first chapters, you know, like get Acts for and um twenty four. It's saying when they heard that they lifted up their voice to the most high with one accord, it said, Lord, that our power which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is, man. You see? He the power, he the hey, that's plain and simple, man. He the creation, the creator of the creations, man. You know? Zechariah, the 12th chapter. It said, The burden of the word of the Lord Yahweh for Israel said, The Lord Yahweh was which stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundation of the earth and forming the spirit of man within him. You know, NLT, and formed the human spirit. You see? And forming the spirit of man within him, man. Going to the word form it is Yah Tazar, you know, in Hebrew, it said outline a bit with usage to form, fashion, frame, um, I of human activity, on um, two of divine activity, a of creation, of original creation, of individuals at a at conception, you know, look that up. Conception, the action of conceiving a child or of a child being conceived, the former or devising of a plan or idea. You know, really plain and simple, man, you know. So hey, they're plain and simple. So it said of individuals a conception, you know, of Israel is a portion, B, to frame preordain. Preordained, you know, uh, B, it said to be formed, be created, to be pre to be uh predetermined, be preordained. And that's the point. Predestined, everything preordained, man. You know? <laughs> everything preordained. So hey, if hey, that's that's just plain and simple, man. You know, Jeremiah's first chapter, man. Before uh, let's grab it, you know. We'll come back to that. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, man. You see? And that's plain and simple, man. All the other peoples, man. Hey, that was, hey, you got niggas now. Niggas uh, were fucking predestined to be rappers. Predestined, preordained to be a, a celebrity. Pre uh, preordained to be homeless. You know, preordained to be most Decepticons, trannies. 
to be facts. You see, that's judgment. And remember, it's saying Romans, the first chapter, I get that. Romans 1 28. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High and acknowledge the Most High, gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Man, the Most High gave them up to their own hearts, their own lusts. You see? So the Most High created them. The Most High created, you know, wicked people. Look at Esau. Hey, let's get Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, um, Proverbs 16 and 4, The Lord had made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil, man. You see? It say good is set against evil, man. Righteous against evil, you know? <laughs> God against the ungodly, man. The Lord created all things for himself. He made all things for himself. You know, moles, you know? Decepticons, you know, he created it, man. He gave you up to your own list. You know, I'm kind of hyped, you know, so like you. Look at Psalms 81, you know, and 11. But my people will not hearken to my voice, and Israel will none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, meaning what? Their own mind. And they walk in their own counsels, man. You can't get around it. So let's go back to Zechariah 12. The burn of the word of the Lord of Israel, Lord for Israel, so like said the Lord Yahweh Messiah, will stretch apart the heavens and lay the foundation of the earth, and form it the spirit of man within him, man. He created you. You know? Plain and simple. Look at um get ready and close, you know. Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, man. The point is 23, but I started 20, you know. Get all of it. Second Maccabees 7, 20. But the mother was marvelous above all. And you can start at once to get the whole point, you know. When they, um, the seven um, children were slain, you know, ready to be put to death to eat pork, you know. So let's just read 20. Because his mother, they mother was watching it, man. It said, uh, 2 Maccabees 7, 20. But the mother was marvelous above all. And you niggas refused to stop eating pork, man. Shit, I just had to say that, man. You niggas, man, you niggas just go die, man. <laughs> you know? Shit. It said, but the mother was marvelous above all and wealthy of honorable memory. For when she saw her seven son slings went in the space of one day. You know, all in one time, you know. It said she buried with a good courage because of the hopes that she had in the Lord. Yes, she exalted every one of them in her own language, filled with the courageous spirits, and stirring up her womanish thoughts with a manly stomach. She said unto them, I cannot tell how you came into my womb, for I neither gave you birth nor life. And, and that's a cut on that um, virgin, um, virgin, what, the virgin birth shit. You know, the, the woman is God. You know, she a goddess. That bullshit, you know. But it said, I cannot tell, you know, this is what the, uh, the mama said, you know, the mother. She said, I cannot tell how you came into my room, for I neither gave you breath nor life, neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you, you know. But doubtless the creator of the world, which is Yahweh Shemar Shai, the creator of the world, who formed the generation of men and found out the beginning of all things, will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again, as ye have now regard not your own selves for his law's sake, man. And that's plain and simple. The creator of the world, man. The creator, the creator of all things, man. You know? Is Yahweh about shot, man. You know? Let's get one more and I close. Let's get go to the book of Sirach. 24. And eight, it says, so the creator of all, of all things gave me a commandment. And you see, the creator of, of all things, all things, man. Not just the righteous, you know, but everything. You see, the wicked also, the evil also. Isaiah 45 and 7, let's grab that. I'm typing too fast. 
It say um Isaiah 45 and 7. I'll form the light and create darkness. You see? He create that. He create light. He create darkness. I make peace and create evil. You see? He create good and he create evil. I the Lord do all these things, man. So he create righteous people, he created wicked people. Hence you got a nation, <laughs> Jacob and Esau, man. Jacob is the righteous and Esau is the wicked. That's plain and simple, man. You can't get around it. <laughs> you know? So right, man. So it says, so the creator of all things gave me commandment, and he that made me cause my tabernacle to rest, and said, let that dwelling be in Jacob, and thy inheritance in Israel. So, hey, Lord, really, I hope you was edified. You know, once again, give our praises, honor, glory to you. Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. V'cha kudash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of great ministers who teach. And we're well, and peace and love to the elect. With that, shalom, quam, Allah, wa, ababa,